Hey, what's up? I'm Roller Coaster Rider. Hi, and I'm Kay. And we're reviewing part three, episode 323, entitled The Runaway Bride of Frankenstein. Usually, Disney doesn't tend to do Halloween episodes or holiday episodes outside of their respective times, but I guess because Zombies is premiering tonight, they've decided to unleash all of their Halloween episodes. Yeah, and it wasn't a bad episode. It was kind of entertaining. It wasn't bad. I just felt like there was, well, we can get into it, but there was one there was one section that I felt should have been the entire episode, a la Princess and the Pea Brain, or uh, Rost at C2, or uh, probably um, some of the other ones. Okay. So this episode had one main plot. It yeah. involved uh, Brooks... Uh, trying to win over the kids. Yeah. Well, because when he asked um, Jesse to marry him, when Spoiler he proposed, alert. <laughs> and she wasn't sure, she wished that he'd get along with the kids better. Mm hmm. And so that's why he was over trying. So uh, we find out that Emma is actually really good at pumpkin carving. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Like in five like minutes or so, and yeah. Everything. So, um, then throughout, so he tries to, so he picks up a pumpkin, but he drops it on Emma. Or, right, uh, it he was drops Emma's it. entry into the tiara. Yeah, and Emma contest, gets, and Emma pumpkin. gets like, <laughs> Emma gets the, gets like, pumpkin all over her. Yep. A la Gallagher. Yep. And nobody, um, I should probably wait a few seconds so everyone who's reading this, or everyone who's listened to this in the demographic can Google who Gallagher is. Okay, that's enough time. Then uh, he tries to help Ravi, or I think he just hangs out with Ravi. And the uh, hamster that Ravi is... Uh, Babysitting. Well, hamster sitting, I guess. Well, for yeah. the... To, for so Zoe will be attracted to her or attracted to, him. to him. Why did you put that stuff in the garbage? Anyway. Why did you say anyway, that? You I did. needed to put it someplace because Missy wanted to sit on my lap. Anyway, uh that doesn't really work out as he kinda kills the hamster. And then he and then uh Zuri who Zuri's still like the, hey, you gotta hang out, you gotta marry Tony, or you have to end up with Tony. You'll be so happy with Tony. Mm hmm Tony is made for you. You guys are made for each other or something? Yeah. So, uh, then they, so, they go to this, like, Halloween fair or something? Yeah. Where Bertram is like the burger mayor or something? Burgermeister. I had never heard of that word until I saw this episode. Okay. I'll, yeah. I'll show you an episode. Okay. Um, then... <sighs> Sorry about that. I'm going to have to do a lot of editing in this. Remind me to edit this. Okay. So he was the burgermeister, and um, Robbie was the mad scientist. Yeah, and he was kind of like Doc. He was kind of like Doctor Frankenstein, although he his hair looked more like Don King. Yeah, and then Luke was Igor. Yeah, and then he was. Uh, and then Zuri kind of tricked Brooks into like taking Luke through the haunted house where. And Luke was kind of scared of the haunted houses. I don't blame him. I didn't make you go through the one in the UK. Um, then I will run that into the ground. Then, um, what was it? Uh, oh, he goes through the haunted house and he, um, he, uh, he, uh, he gets really scared. Yes. I don't think you've ever been that scared and... Hopefully nobody in the Yes, one listen, person yeah. had to clean himself off and it wasn't Robbie. Yeah. 
let's just leave it at that. He's he's really scared. Um, and then Bertram goes through and he's like, wow, they really use real ornate effects. Yeah. You'll have to watch it to find that out. So then, well, also, because in case anyone is listening to this while eating. So, um, Emma, Zuri, Ravi, and Luke all say that Brooks kind of, like, hurt them. Ruined Halloween. Yeah. Um, so then, so then, uh, he, Brooks tries to make up for it by saying, by, you know, saying, like, uh, Hey, Luke, uh, you've already went through the haunted house, so you won't be scared. Those other girls are terrified. So why don't you be their shoulder going through the haunted house? And he's like, okay. <laughs> and then uh, Emma, who they he smashed, should we say who the celebrity is? Go ahead. Uh, Pumpkin Andrew Garfield. The Amazing Spider-Man. Oh. Was dating Emma Stone? I don't Got know if they're it. still dating. Got it. I don't know. You didn't see Amazing Spider-Man? Anyway. Hmm. I have. Uh, so, let's see. So she decides to carve a pumpkin of Brooks, but he she makes Brooks look like, um, Lucifer. A real... Not a nice dude. Yeah. Someone, you know, someone, someone... Someone that would really scare you at Halloween. Someone with, like, fangs and, you know... So, so, someone that looks like he has horns, you know? Okay. Okay? Yes, I know. Um. So, anyway, she wins the pumpkin contest. Yeah, and she gets a tiara. Oh, and so she thinks she's... Which is, which princess. is good. Which is good because <laughs> she's dressed as Cinderella. Yes, she is. <laughs> so then, uh, her hair and all, blue dress, not mm -hmm. pink. Sorry. So then, uh, while this is going on, Jesse is talking to Bertram about how I like him, but the kids don't like him, so I don't know what to do. But then she kind of has like a dream where she's the bride of Frankenstein. Yep. And she's talking about like. I hope it, it has, like, this of Chris Hemsworth, this of... The height of Chris Hemsworth, the dancing... Of Channing Tatum. And the hair of Luke. No, the hair of Tony. Of Tony, sorry. So then, uh, so then, Ravi, as Dr. Frankenstein, is able to do it, and Luke appears as Igor. Yeah. Kind of talking like this. <laughs> but, but he was... He was that character for the Halloween mm -hmm. fair. Um, so he makes he makes Brooks as like as Frankenstein. And so when Luke says, "Hey, I made I got a candle at dinner," he's like, "Fire back!" <laughs> yeah. Well, Jesse says, "Is that extra?" Because <laughs> I kind of spent all my money on the on the Frankenstein monster. And then, uh... So then he goes... Then they go back to the fair. Yeah, he where, lives in the elevator. Where, uh... Well, he could even figure out how to use it, but... Where Emma is the, uh, queen of the pumpkin patch or something? Yeah. And he, and Zuri's like, I'll let you figure out what's wrong, what's dumb about that statement. Yeah. And she had, like, a weird accent. Yeah, it's like, pumpkins need a princess? <laughs> Pumpkins need the princess. I don't know if it's like supposed to be like Romanian or. Well, I would guess Romania. Yeah, because yeah. that's kind of where Frankenstein is. Isn't well, he? Transylvania. Transylvania, whatever. It didn't sound British, so. And please, uh, Dracula historians, please don't. Well, you know what? Like, comment, subscribe, and share this, and then tell us why it's. And then tell us what's wrong. Sounds good, like a plan. So, uh, then, uh, Brooks, as Frankenstein, is kind of like tearing everything up, and they're, and, uh... Bertram. No, no, uh... Well, they who, said to Bertram... No, it was... Or Bertram says, well, okay, who's I'll, in I'll charge? Save, I'll save that as a, I'll save that as one of my favorite lines well, later. Bertram says, who's in charge, or, and then Zuri says, you are, and he's like... Oh, I feel like I'm getting the plague. 
Oh, no offense. And people he goes running who passed off. of the plague. Um. Then, uh, then Jesse, after he waking up and after hearing about like what Brooks has done, that's been good. He, she decides to answer yes or no to the engagement question. So children, good children, like Frankenstein or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fire. So then, uh, wait, did we? So that's the episode. What did you think of it? We did the whole episode? Oh, okay. Um, I thought it was pretty good. I like the Halloween theme because you don't always find that in um, Disney shows. So You do. They just don't air them outside of Halloween. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I haven't watched enough Disney Channel for a while, so catching up on some of the shows. Mm -hmm. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I, like I liked the makeup, the costumes. Mm -hmm. Even though the kids' costumes were kind of simple, um, Jesse's and um, Brooks. Brooks were pretty good. I like the episode too. I have one. I have. Well, oh. I've, I think I've already said the problem that uh, the dream sequence where they actually are monsters and they're kind of like parodying monsters. I wish that had been the entire episode. Oh well, maybe. Um, did we mention how Ravi's, you know, the poor kid, that, that, that kind of touched me. He worked oh. so hard on taking care of her hamster. Yeah. And then he was blaming Brooks that the hamster died, but actually the hamster went to hibernate when it got really cold. Spoiler so, alert. Yeah. So then, um, he just kind of warmed it up and yeah. So the kids did turn around to like Brooks and um not entirely hint for the next episode. But you don't know how Zuri is feeling. Yeah. Zuri is still like uh she wants Tessie, which is like Tony and Jesse. Oh. Or Joni. Yeah. Yeah, I like Tessie, I guess better. <laughs> better, but um yeah, so we have one more episode to watch. What did you think of it? Did you like I, it? I already said oh. I already said that I like the episode, but I wish it had been that. Oh, the dream sequence more. Yeah, okay. like that had been the entire episode. Like, uh, it had been revealed. Like how I would have done it was after the uh, "Will you marry me?" thing. She like, she's she's like torn, doesn't know what to do. The kids say they're gonna go off to like a Halloween fair with uh, Bertram. And so when she's by herself, she says, maybe I just need to sleep on it. And then it turns into, like, that part. Okay. Maybe that's how I would have done it. That's my opinion. Um, do you have a favorite line from the episode? Um, hmm. Well, Jessie, when she kind of said that her boyfriends are always running away from her, <laughs> Yeah. Um, that's kind of not a favorite line, but you know, it did did mean something. Oh, and how Luke um, was trying to make Ravi feel better about um, going into the haunted house, and girls will hold your hand no matter yeah. what. <laughs> Another spoiler, but okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm spoiling it. My guys. favorite line was. Uh, Maybe it'll just get you to want to watch it. My favorite line was when uh fr was when uh Brooks Frankenstein was going crazy and uh I don't know if it was Lucas Igor or Ravi saying like you had to have muscles. Hey. Ch hey. Chicks dig at chicks dig strong guys. Am I right, ladies? Yeah. <laughs> was she right? <clears throat> I don't know. Anyway, uh would you watch? Would you tell people to watch the episode? Yeah, I would probably watch it again, even though I watched it. But um, there's probably things that I missed and didn't pick up on little things and stuff. So I thought it was pretty good. Bertram, you'll have to watch what he does at the end. Mm -hmm. 
you know, it's a perfect day out, a nice breeze. <laughs> and, and then and then something happens. Yeah. Now, does this episode work as a standalone episode? Or do you need to have seen the first and second in order to understand? Well, probably at least the second so you know that she's getting proposed. Mm-hmm. Because it's kind of around that where the kids are, like, thinking that he's not good enough. And then he turns it around and, you know. Mm hmm So I think you'd have to see both of them. Uh, stay tuned when, stay tuned for the next episode when we review part four, season three, episode 24, I believe. Yeah, I think there so. There goes the bride. Whoa. Bye. Bye now. Take care. Good night.